we wanted to explore the controversy of open campus lunch. What is open campus lunch? It's when students are allowed to leave school campus during lunch break. Students have the opportunity to go buy their own lunch, head home, or stay at school. They are expected to get their lunch and return back to school by the following period, but these expectations are not always met. Northview High School currently has a closed campus lunch policy, but we wanted to get an inside look on the pros and cons of an open campus lunch with the help of opinions of students, teachers, and other resources. I think so, because I mean, students are, I mean, teachers are really like responsible for like the students and their actions. The amount of students trying to leave all at one time and actually get back before the bell rings, along with their safety, is enough of an issue for me to kind of question it and feel a little bit too worrisome, I guess, about it, because they, in order to try and get back so fast, there will be a lot of craziness going on, a little speeding, a lot of potential problems. Sometimes when you just sit at lunch, you sit around and do nothing, and you can do something more productive with your time. Um, I think it would be nice if they did. However, I think also that if students were trying to run to get lunch, it's very busy around here, and the time that it takes to go somewhere to get lunch and then come back, there's not a whole lot of time because of traffic, and I would be afraid that students would get into an accident trying to hurry back. So I think that I would be um, a strong uh, opposed to that. Um, I would say no because kids can get in a lot of trouble like during lunch. They can say I'm gonna go get lunch, but in reality they're gonna go do some shady type activity outside of school, you know what I'm saying? Uh no, I don't think students should be trusted because I feel like some students wouldn't come back if they left during school. You never know. You can get in an accident or, or something. I, I I don't think so. I, I did not agree with that. I think students should to have a freedom to go to different places in the in the building, you know, maybe to eat with a teacher or whatever, but um, not off campus. Northview High School doesn't have that many convenient restaurants within close proximity to its building. There wouldn't be very many restaurants available to students for the amount of time given in our lunch period. And it would be pretty risky for students to drive farther just to get to the restaurants they prefer, such as Chipotle. And since it's farther, students would have to rush to get back, which would cause more accidents. The ISD Student Health Advisory Committee met this week and their discussion revolved around alcohol and drug abuse in the school district, something they believe is prevalent during the students' unsupervised lunch period. Every afternoon, Midland students get the chance to leave school grounds and grab lunch. Some hit up their favorite fast food spot, others head home. I preach this everywhere I go, everybody I talk to, I'm like, hey, we need to close the campuses. Chad Small with the Palmer Drug Abuse Program works with students who are battling an alcohol or drug addiction on a daily basis. Easily 75%, if not more, of the kids who relapse, relapse at large. Pretty much every one of the kids that we have in our program that are mandated from the court or for either drug possession or truancy or both, that's happening during lunch. Parents aren't home. They have absolutely no supervision. It's not just the drugs. If the kids are into sex, if they're into violence, if they're into shoplifting, you know, whatever negative behavior they might be getting into is happening at lunch because they're just free to go do whatever they want. So whether the kids are using their time to grab a quick bite or to do something else, Small says it's not worth the risk. The National School Lunch Program provides nutritionally balanced, low-cost, or free lunches to children each school day. School lunches aim to serve healthy meals to high school students on a daily basis. 
However, if open campus lunch is allowed, then this note option can encourage students to have an unhealthy diet because they are exposed to various fast foods and foods with the low nutrition values every day. The 2003 California High School Fast Food Survey found indications that schools with an open campus lunch policy reported less participation in the NSLP compared to schools with closed campus policies. The SNDA3 reported that 14% of high school students who were interviewed about what they ate on a certain day reported that they did not participate in the NSLP because they went off campus to eat lunch. The food environment surrounding schools could easily negate schools' food policies and health education in the classroom, especially in high schools with an open campus policy that allows students to leave campus during their lunch break. Um, probably me because it was my choice to drive and it's my choice to like go wherever I, it's like my choice it's like it's my control and I think at the school doesn't really like have control of what like happens outside it would be the school's fault because they let us go out so I would be because I'm the one driving okay my insurance the school because they let them out me because I'm the one who got into an accident. Students are liable because it wasn't the school that got behind the wheel and didn't make a proper decision. I guess, I mean, they're on the school's time, so I feel like it's obviously us, but if it's open campus and they made the rule for it, then I think there would have to be something that they signed off on saying that they would be liable for themselves because obviously that puts the school in a tough position. Well, I think that the students would be liable um, for that because it, hopefully, if they're leaving for campus, they have insurance in order to provide them that um, support. However, I think also if it's during the school day, that that would be a shared liability with the school as well. The school is worried about liability, that they should create some sort of waiver or an opportunity for to avoid being blamed for student accidents or incidents that could occur. And, but in general, students should have the ability to leave or if the school supports that, I guess in a way the school could be liable, you know. But uh, if the student does have permission to go out with the parent, then of course the school is off. It's, it's uh, not liable at all, and then it's just, it's just uh, up to. The student's responsibility. During the school day from 8 to 4, children are the school's responsibility. So what does that mean? It means the moment you've walked into our campus to the moment you've left campus, you fall under the responsibility of the school system. Open campus lunch may seem exciting and beneficial to the students. The negatives outweigh the positives. In this documentary, we showed how open campus lunch may be hazardous and impractical to the students leaving during this time. The short lunch time span of Northview High School's lunch does not give students enough time to buy their food and arrive back to school promptly. In addition, open campus lunch does not ensure that students are provided with a healthy and nutritious meal every day. Instead, students have more access to unhealthy foods and drinks on a daily basis. Also, liability issues might arise within the school, considering the many risks that come from this lunch policy. Overall, Northview High School's closed campus lunch policy is the best policy in order to ensure the safety and the well-being of its students.